Hi community, how are you doing? This is Spirit Guide. How is everyone's Sunday? Um, or whatever time it is when you're watching it. For me, you see what I'm doing? I'm adjusting my little, my lamp. I love it. Okay, so I don't have to keep remembering to tell you <laughs> to like the video. That's one thing I've, I'm really bad at. I just get right into the video. Let me make it darker so you can see. Um, there we go. All right. Kind of doesn't look like a thumb a little bit. I don't know. There we go. That's a good angle. All right. So don't forget to like the video. And uh, that's a great way to let me know that you're enjoying the content. So I see everyone loves the um, Dollar Tree video. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to be doing another one um, this week. Um, I went, like you saw, I got the tablecloth. This is for November. So I got the tablecloth. Um, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get some other things uh, this week when I go there. Okay. So that's a better angle, I think. Um, so, you know, it'll be okay. And then see, <laughs> I got them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's going to be a whole thing, but anyway, so I hope everyone really enjoyed your weekend. It was a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Ah, I'm so energetic. I'm so ready for this week. Um, this is my first week actually I'm trying to see how far. Okay. This is my first week going back to work, guys. I'm nervous. I've been out um, in total. It's almost eight months um, of my, because I have, uh, you know, a few jobs. You know, my, uh, <clears throat> as I explained in one of my other videos, uh, my tarot allowed, um, allowed me to still keep myself focused on what I need to do. Um, but I was out of work um, for an extended time. So I think in total, I believe in total, it is eight months um, following uh, an accident I had. So, you know, divine carried me through it. You know, all I had to do was just be myself and just stay prayed up and I'm, I'm better. So thank you. So tomorrow's my first day back. Um, I did go back for one or two days, but I really wasn't healthy to go. Um, I got winded up being sent home because they said I was not physically fit for the job on those days. Um, and, and they didn't say it wasn't being mean. They were right. You know, I wasn't, I didn't have a lot of feeling in the foot and, you know, then the arm. And it was just a lot. I went through a lot. So, um, yeah. So basically I am going to get cleared this week, a hundred percent. Uh, I feel just... Everything is just great right now. So I'm very energetic and I'm happy right now. It's about almost 11 o'clock <laughs> and I'm doing tarot, right? Um, but a message has to come out. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Devon, for all your blessings that you've given me and the community. Just thank you for carrying me through this. Okay. All right. And also I have good news from community dog, her YouTube short. Guess what? In four hours of me putting it up, she got 1.2 thousand views. <laughs> she is going through the roof. So we're going to do another one this week. Um, and I had really good people, you know, left comments and stuff. So it was really nice. It was cute. All right. So everything, like I said, beautiful, beautiful, positive, positive. So I'm sending that energy your way, sending it to your family, sending it to your loved ones, sending it to you. Okay. All right, the card that came out, adaptability. Look at that. I hope these cards aren't reading me because we were just talking about that, right? The tulip tree, 51. The transforming power of time brings flowers and fruits that are a sign of love and happiness. Flowers, and you know I love fruit, so. All right, <clears throat> I don't know. If this starts to feel like my reading, I'm gonna have to, do it on camera. I'm going to stop, sage a little bit, and do it again, okay? All right. I need some uh, energy for my community. Just a quick check-in. Just an uh, update on my life for Vlogtober. And also giving them a message for tonight. And so that they can go into tomorrow very confident and aware. Whoa. K. 
king of coins. Sorry, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Oh, none of them fell. I caught them. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. So we are in our king of coins energy. We have no worries. We are just there. We have our money. We have our stability. We are king of coins. Nothing better than that. Okay, beautiful. Okay. All right, may I have another energy, please? Just a four-card spread. Uh, leading energy is adaptability. So we don't really... Ooh. Nope. Floors for feet. <laughs> may I have one more, please? I wonder if my energy is too high. <laughs> That's why the cards was not trying to come out. They're like, nah, your happiness is good for us. But I'm telling you, community of you, I know, and leave in the comments, you know, if anyone's ever had to heal from a very long injury, when you get to the point where you're like, all right, let's, let's do this. And I get my clearance. It feels like you can take on the world. Like nothing's going to stop you. That's how I feel at least. Because this has been a long eight months. Okay. Oh, wow. Three cards. Did not see all that happening. Ten of cups. Two of staff. Nine of swords. What's in your head? Why are you in your head? In your head? What's going on? Okay. I'm aware ten of cups came out like this. Um, This just means that's the problem. Um, you're wanting, you're happily ever after. So, you know, what? I'm going to just take it and leave it like that. Uh, I'm starting to, especially with this deck, I'm starting to actually honor, um, how they're falling out. Cause it does, you know, I mean, I don't know. Usually I just turn it upside right, you know, but this reading I'm feeling, oh, wow. I'm feeling it needs to be that way. Uh, okay. Four staffs. All right. So right now community, you're in your energy. Um, this is a masculine that I'm looking at here. Uh, someone's in their masculine energy. Okay. It can be a female tarot does not know gender, but I'm looking at the energies of cards up here. These are all masculines. Okay. And there's only one feminine here. So I'm talking to someone who's in their dominant energy can be male or female right now. You're king of coins. You are sorry. You know, my editing crew here, <laughs> uh, you're king of coins right now. You are, you know, financially stable you are in your uh loving energy okay a little selfish but that's okay um you're stable you have a heartache you had a heartache right three of swords to your chest you had a heartache uh someone betrayed you there's a betrayal here you still think about it too the betrayal could have led to or if the betrayal didn't happen it would have led to a marriage, a union, right? For a staff. There's a union. It would have led to. Um, the middle one is Ten of Cups, which would have led to your forever happiness, okay? Now you have to make a decision. There's a decision out here. Um, I'm getting intuitively the decision is like, do I take the person that... I know their problems, they have problems, and I know what their problems are, or do I wait for my Ten of Cups, right? Do I wait for this, right? In order to achieve it, do I have to wait for it? I'm getting the sense of impatience, and not impatience because, um, you know, I'm bored and, and let's hurry up. I'm getting the sense of impatience like... You community, whoever this reading is for, you have waited a really long time. You've built your financial wealth. You, you've done everything you needed to do. You, with love, you have not been the person that's out there all the time. You're not a serial dater. So you're not going to have uh, tons of experience um, out there. So therefore, when you get experiences, you take them and you're with them for a very long time. Okay. This is the only relationship that is causing you to have to make a decision and it's causing you to be up in your head where you're not getting sleep. You're restless. You don't know what to do because, I mean, I'm going to find out, but this is probably the love of, I don't want to say of your lifetime because, you know, there's a lot of people out there in the world, but this is your love. This is the one you've been waiting for. 
But there was a betrayal and there was a third party. This person cheated. They cheated. They put someone above you. And it doesn't have to be a relationship. They can cheat by not, I'm, I'm getting not putting you first, not listening to you. And it also can be a physical cheat going on. Um, other than three of swords, you know, I don't see any other threes out here, but there definitely was a betrayal, 100%. Um, and you, your ego, you're trying to get over, right? So you should, six of staff, <laughs> right? So you're, you're, you're stuck in your energy, six of staff, there's the ego. Um, you don't know what to do. You're still hurting, but you're hurting not for love. You're hurting for ego. It's for ego. It's not love anymore. Like the love hurt went away. You know, that goes away. It's the ego hurt. Like, how dare you play me for a fool? You know, remember I heard it all before, right? <laughs> so, um, it's, it's a coins. Yeah. Um, you're kind of content. Well, Ace of Coins and Upright meant that you, you know, had all the money. Um, you still have money. <laughs> uh, but right now it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're, you're, you're thinking about, um, you're, you're thinking about not, uh, worrying about the, the hurt, not worrying about the money. You, it's, I, I think you're gonna, you're gonna call, I'm gonna break down and call this person. Um, can I have energy in his two of staff, please? You're you're gonna break down to them. You're gonna break down. Yep, ten of swords. Right? You feel like this. You feel whatever they did was a betrayal that you cannot you can't get rid of that feeling of betrayal, but you also can't get rid of this person in your mind and in your heart. So it looks like you might be forgiving him soon. Hey, may I have one more card for Ten of Swords, please? All right. Well, congratulations. Okay, judgment in the upside down. Okay. So judgment has not been called on this. This is still your call. You can do what you want to do. Okay, this is your decision. Uh, divine is not intervening in this. There's no intervention here. And it doesn't mean it's negative because divine's not intervening. Sometimes there's no intervention needed, right? Human will has to take over at some point, okay? So we're not just like puppets walking around, right? Um, we have to make our own decisions. Divine will always be there for us. Four staff, five staff, look at that. Can't make it up, guys. Five staff. So there's, there's going to be some conflict going on. Um... Well, there was conflict, which stopped the wedding, stopped the celebration that was supposed to happen. The conflict, the conflict was probably the cheating or putting someone ahead of you. Or maybe, you know, this could even be a wedding. Like their wedding was about to happen, right? Ten of Cups is on the side, right? That was the problem. It was the happily ever after was the problem. This could, I'm even getting this happened the day of a wedding. Two of Coins. Okay. Two of Coins. So I'm getting that this happened the day of a wedding, <laughs> you know, but there was a definite commitment that was here and it was a promise of this, of 10 of cups, but it did not happen. It didn't happen. I'm getting, you tried to ignore it. Oh, look who's on the bottom. Look who showed up. Queen of swords. <laughs> There's your third party. Uh, can I have some energy on this nine of swords, please? Yeah, there's a lot of swords out here. <laughs> there's a lot of swords, a lot of betrayal. Yeah, you may want to, you know, just think about your situation. Um, I, I don't ever give you advice, but, um, there's just a lot of turmoil and this is a lot of ego, right? So the love is, um, the love is still there. Um, <laughs> the cards are just flying all over the place. The love is still there. The person still loves you. You love them. It's just, it's ego at this point. Um, I'm sorry. I was asking for nine of swords, right? 
So you're up in your head about, uh, look who's here. All right, guys, that's it. It's the Emperor's here. Emperor. That's your ego, Emperor. You're in your head because you don't want to call. You don't want to text. You don't want to, you know, whatever else you use. You don't want to do it. You don't want to go on Instagram. You don't want to do this. You don't want to reach out to the person. I'm waiting for Page of Swords, to be honest with you. Because I definitely know that you are watching them. I know that. <laughs> Hold on. Community dog. Okay. So let's do one for the Emperor and then we're done. King of Swords. Wow. And the world upside down. Okay. So King of Swords. Yeah, make sure that King of Swords came out for the Emperor. All right. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're staying in your power. And you're saying, I don't deserve this. You know, yes, I love you. Yes, we went through a lot. This is up to me. There was conflict. The marriage didn't happen. The union didn't happen. The Ten of Cups is the problem, right? That happily ever after was stopped, okay? And you have your money. You're fine. So this is really a battle of ego here, right? There's a battle of ego. Um, there's not one cup up here. <laughs> so that, except for Ten of Cups. Um, so that lets me know, you know, love, you wanted the Ten of Cups. You wanted that that kind of um, forever, happily ever after. And you were going to get it. You know, you were absolutely going to get it. But something came in the way. And I'm thinking it was this third party. A third party came in the way. Or a decision that led to a third party came in the way. All right, the extra card that came out for King of Swords is the world in the upside down. So the world in the upside down just means that there is no change. You are stuck. You are staying in this energy and there is nothing that anyone can do to change your mind. That's it. Uh, you've allowed this situation to run its course and you've made a decision. Do I know what that decision is? No, I do not. No, I do not. Um... I can't because remember, I can't see the future and it's your decision. So I, I, I at this point think I'm blocking the future um, from part of my gifts and that's fine because this is telling me enough that whatever the decision is you've made, you are in your power, right? Look at the spread that came out. You are in your power, right? So at first, it goes like this, see? Okay. At first, you're up in your head. You weren't sleeping about, you had a decision to make. Do you get back with this person or not? Up in your head, losing sleep. Then you said to yourself, nope, I'm the king. I'm the, the king. <laughs> I'm the emperor, which is the king. You know, I'm the emperor and I'm a grown person. I'm in my male energy. I am not going to allow this situation to get me out that energy with the no sleeping. Then you came through as, sorry about the angles, guys, uh, as King of Swords, right? That's not a pleasant energy, but you're in that energy of this is what I'm going to do and this is who, I'm, who I am. And you're not going to make me feel that I did something wrong, I'm hearing. You're not going to make me feel I did something wrong. And then outcome, we're all upside down. There's no change. You're in that energy. You're not changing. Good for you. So whatever decision you've made. Now this could be a yes or a no. It doesn't have to mean it's negative. And right here, whatever your decision is, either yes or no. <laughs> that was cool, right? Either yes or no, um, you're not budging from it. You're going to get this Ten of Cups. You're not budging from it. This right here was promised and not given, but you're going to get it either with this person or without this person, okay? So congratulations, you're in your energy. Okay, let's get an Alice in Wonderland on this. Congrats, congrats. I wish I could make decisions with that much <laughs> certainty. I'm the worst decision maker, my goodness. It's like, I'm like, all right, all right, you wanna do it, sure. <laughs> um, service to the animal world, okay, all right. Let's get one more. 
Remember, this is the first time Alice in Wonderland is working with uh, Miss Cleo. <laughs> the very first time, so we'll see. There we go. That's it. Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan. Take the right direction. Beautiful cards. Okay, so there's your green light, which goes right here. Okay, and also hug an animal, kiss an animal, or maybe go adopt an animal. All right. All right, everybody. So this is your spread. I'll have you look at it for a minute. And don't forget, hit the like button. I know I was just forgetting every video. <laughs> I did some videos tell you to hit the like button. Other videos, I just got right into the reading. And I always forgot. So when I saw it at my job tonight, I was like, oh my goodness, I need this in my life. And it was on sale. And it was on clearance. <laughs> so I was like, oh my goodness, this is a sign. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Don't mind me. I'm just getting everything together and I smell my hamburgers already. All right. So thank you so much. And I will speak with you later. Bye-bye.